Yeah, hi friends. Uh, good evening. Welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So I am Manju here, and uh, today in this video, I am going to discuss with you is end-to-end uh, -end ETL tester duties. Okay. So what exactly the ETL tester is going to do a uh, whole day? Okay. So end-to-end -end ETL testing, uh, the tester duties. So I am going to reveal here. So uh, kindly subscribe to my channel SQL Master YouTube channel, so you will get more videos on this regard. So let us uh, start the videos. So that will be more informative and uh, helpful for you people to face the interviews. Okay, because some people don't know uh, the things, partially know the things what exactly the ETL tester is going to do. So what are the responsibilities and uh, what all the things included in ETL testing field. So that's what I am going to share you in this video. So let us start the video. So these are the some uh, templates what I made here. So ETL tester first he go through any mails came and if mails required response he can respond for them. So all of us uh, the first point uh, we uh, inform or we interact with the interview the this first point. Okay. So but uh, what exactly the meaning of this uh, sentence? So uh, at the start of the duty the tester is going to Outlook Express the mailing which is using by industries are Outlook Express. So if any mail required response, okay, so any uh, related to duty, okay, related to testing, so mails are required response, so he can go through those mails and uh, reply for those mails, the tester, this is first duty of uh, ETL testing engineer. And then it occurs about uh, 15 to 20 minutes or you can say of uh, 30 minutes stand up call discussion. This is the meeting. Uh, where those people are uh, discussing with team lead and scrum master with other team members the testers are going to discuss uh, like uh, call discussion where whole team members including team lead and scrum master discuss what the project progress how much it's covered okay so and also on uh, project projector screen uh, by observing the burn down chart uh, that is graphical representation of project progress they can come to conclusion uh, that uh, how to improve further in projects so if any obstacles or any issues uh, are there meaning between uh, uh, the development team and testing team and in, in case of uh, production team so if any obstacles or any issues between there uh, there come to picture as a scrum master okay so he is the only the person can resolve the issues so uh, and if any defect raised by the tester he can go for discussion on particular defect so these are also the some uh, discussion uh, which is going on every day in stand up call discussion okay so weekly call meeting also is there and uh, monthly call meeting also there and uh, daily call meeting also is there okay uh, they can just discuss about the testing uh, if any problems issues are there and uh, if any obstacles present over there and if uh, any coordination between the different uh, departments developer production department if any uh, issues are there he they can discuss with the team lead and the scrum master so this is very important thing so you can say uh, to interview this one and executing the test cases one the issues are resolved by the scrum master or else team leader then tester can move to execute the test cases so while executing the test cases if uh, tester find the bug or defect so he can raise the defect uh, to particular developer until he resolved he can trace the particular test case and follow them okay here uh, the uh, thing is that the tester can invest some of the time in uh, identifying whether actually it is bug or just it is uh, confusion okay what it's creating sometimes it creates some confusion okay so tester have to invest some time uh, to find the bug or to find the defect whether it's actually the defect or bug so if he realizes that the, uh, the particular thing is bug or defect then only he can discuss with the on-site coordinator with uh, developer and team lead and uh, also the client so then he can raise the defect report to the particular developer with uh, taking artifacts and screenshots of particular bug and he can send and he can just uh, uh, what you can say uh, he can uh, priority okay so priorities depend on the developer and severity the tester can uh, define the severity of uh, how much it is impacting the module or a uh, whole module so this is what the uh, uh, thing here and developer undergo the four scenarios okay so that's what uh, the defect cycle so next moving to validation part okay 
validating the data records what the data loaded by developer is correct or not has to test using sql standard queries he can perform high level validations with scd that is uh, slowly changing dimensions for initial and incremental load for uh, each validation he has to take screenshot and artifacts to prove whether, uh, whatever he validated if using informatica he is to apply business logic and business uh, apply several transformation rules to validate data and he can also set the, uh, for the automation using provided script okay some automation tools also we can use here that is the stored procedure also and some programmatic uh, scripts also there so if we want to uh, repeat uh, almost all repeating tasks we may want to uh, uh, make it automate okay so again doing doing uh, again and again if we, uh, we want to do we can set for automation so that's what the thing is here and then finally using reporting tools uh, tester can report to the team lead wherever uh, whatever he done the work so uh, these are some tools are there in market you can go through the google it or youtube it so i will also make videos on reporting tools etl testing reporting tools so you can just go through any uh, two or three reporting tools in depth okay you can understand the reporting tools are very important because uh, interviewer may ask you okay which reporting tool you use and within the reporting tools what all concepts cover they may ask you in interview okay so for that reason go for uh, the reporting tools uh, in depth and then only you can understand the things and also i i also make uh, some videos on um, in my youtube channel in future uh, very soon so this is what the thing friends and uh, one more thing is that uh, this is what the template of uh, uh, test case okay test case template so this is what look like this is here test case id and created by the name and test case description and reviewed by and version number okay this is standard format and uh, qa testers log so this is what the uh, some details description and tester name and date tested and the test case fail fast or not so this is what status he has to maintain and the prerequisites okay before testing what are all the requirements prerequisites we can say so that's what uh, if it is manual testing and uh, it is uh, if it is etl testing okay for high level validations these are uh, templates are just uh, templates is same but whatever you mentioning here the data will come different so uh, test data okay so that is what the thing here and you can see uh, step 1 1 2 3 4 5 and step detail second column so what will we navigate to just demo.guru.com and enter user id password click submit okay expected results and uh, actual results i hope this is manual testing okay so it's like this in case of etl testing or in case of high level validations you can use uh, here uh, one more column like sql queries okay before this after step details you can use sql query then expected results and actual result so this is what the thing here this is just a uh, template so if it is manual testing for example you are considering that you are testing one website for example it is facebook okay so you have to test uh, username and uh, your password okay if password is wrong if you type password wrong what error ma message it has to give that must ha that must uh, has to give error message okay what we expect that error message okay so that is called as negative testing most high experience people can do that negative testing and if it is both are username and password correct then it has to log in and uh, land into the facebook dashboard so these all are the matter okay you must have to go in depth very depth so you can understand the pro things properly okay uh, take this very serious and uh, do the uh, study well and uh, uh, prepare for cross questions also okay for interview uh, you must be very smart to prepare for interviews okay don't read uh, uh, theory okay just go as smart so you can prepare well in that so i hope uh, you understood this video concept uh, clearly so that it will be a little bit at least little bit it will help you for interview preparation so in my next video i again I come with some different concept or different queries or different detail concepts okay so uh, till that bye bye friends have a nice day so i will be with you uh, in my next video with some more interesting concepts uh, thank you friends thank you very much bye bye have a nice day take care